According to new reports, Tristan Thompson is finally speaking out about the recent cheating allegations in the form of cease and desist letters, though his alleged mistress, Sydney Chase, says she never received a letter. Let's get into this. Over the past week, we've reported on Instagram model Sydney Chase's claims that she was seeing Tristan Thompson starting in November 2020. Fans know that Tristan was already back together with Khloe Kardashian at that point, which would make this yet another cheating scandal surrounding their relationship. We first met November, November 11th to be exact, and that's when everything started. And then the last time we had contact, besides when he messaged me after finding out about the interview, it was the day after his daughter's birthday party. The cheating allegations first broke during Sydney's appearance on the No Jumper podcast, and Page Six just reported that Adam John Grand Mason, host of the No Jumper podcast, erased the initial interview because of a cease and desist he received from Tristan's attorney. Adam told the outlet that, quote, yeah, we got a cease and desist and deleted it. Honestly, I wouldn't have posted it in the first place if I knew it was gonna mess up a relationship. And Page Six obtained the cease and desist letter, which states that Sydney made numerous false and defamatory statements about Tristan on the podcast. Addressing Adam directly, the letter also said, you recklessly allowed Miss Chase to make outlandish false statements about my client on the podcast without seeking to verify her claims in any way. No Jumper has since re-uploaded the video, but edited out the portion where Sydney discusses her alleged relationship with Tristan. According to Page Six, Tristan's lawyer also sent a cease and desist letter to Sydney. The outlet reported that the letter said, quote, it is obvious that you are a liar. Your claim that you had a relationship with Mr. Thompson is pure fiction. The purported texts you claim exist are equally fictitious, and they put words in my client's mouth that he never said that are contrary to his thoughts and feelings. This is defamatory. The letter also demands that Sydney provide any texts that she allegedly received from Tristan for review because texts can be manipulated and faked. But while Tristan's lawyer tells Page Six that this letter was sent to Sydney, at first she claimed she never received a cease and desist letter. She originally told the outlet, quote, I did not receive anything. I didn't receive anything because I'm telling the truth. Sydney also doubled down on these claims on her Instagram story where she wrote, quote, I have not received a cease and desist from anyone. The articles are giving false information. Let this be a lesson to not let anyone, no matter the money or fame they have, to shut you down or tarnish your name. But then hours later, Sydney took to her IG stories again and wrote that she received the letter after her first post. She wrote, quote, I finally received the cease and desist hours after I made my post online. It was first sent to an email I no longer use. However, I'm moving forward with the truth and I'm choosing not to comply. I will not be called a liar. And so page six asked to see the alleged text between Sydney and Tristan, but at that point, according to the outlet, Sydney didn't respond. A source close to Tristan also told the outlet that the situation is a he said, she said, and that Sydney's supposedly using this alleged scandal to cash in on 15 minutes of fame. Chloe hasn't spoken out on the situation publicly, but she has shared some cryptic quotes on social media. Additionally, Sydney posts screenshots claiming she had a conversation with Chloe on Instagram DMs. We'll keep you posted if more develops in this seemingly never-ending story. But for now, if you want more on the alleged DMs that Chloe sent to Sydney, click right over here for another clever news video. And then let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. Do you think that Sydney's telling the truth? She's getting a lot of clout for it. I mean, we're all talking about it. For now, guys, I'm your host, Carly Henderson, and I'll see you soon.